Yeah, insertion sort, runtime complexity. Let's talk about it. So it's also known as big O notation, and big O is asymptotic notation. Okay, you, you can get me on that, but let's just call it asymptotic notation. Um, as you know, in insertion sort, you're comparing to the left. So from the far right, I need to uh, potentially compare uh, one, two, three times, here, one, two times, here, one time. So I have my n elements, and I'm not comparing them to each one of themselves, I'm comparing it to the rest of this list. So n times n minus one is where we're gonna start. Now, it's not always n times n minus one because that would just be, I would assume that that'd be saying that each element is on the far right. Obviously only one element is on the far right. Only one element is the last element. So how do we account for the fact that I, as I move left in this list, that I'm making less comparisons? Well, I'm gonna, you take this number here and you divide it by two. Let me give you an example of why dividing it by two works and why dividing it by two is right. This is just the way that I think. Um, you may think about it differently. Some other things may work better for you, but this is what works for me. So four, three, two, well, I'm just going to draw it um, as it would be um, the iterations. So three, four, two, one. Uh, and then two, three, four, one. And then one, two, three, four. Okay. In this stage, I made, let's say it was four and three. That was one comparison. And then here, you know, two, I had to make two comparisons. Um, and then um, on this stage, I had to make uh, uh, one, two, three comparisons. And then on this stage, I, uh, it's, it, well, it's sorted, but I, yeah, it's sorted. So, uh, one plus two plus three equals six. So n, n is four times four minus one dash three, that's 12 over two, which equals six. So you can see that when you divide it by two, you're accounting for the fact that for each, for each comparison you complete, you are either going to uh, add one more comparison in the next iteration or one less, depending on how you look at it. Anyway, divided by two, you will have the correct number. You can even look at it like this. Now if you take this guy and you divide it, kind of like that, One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this, I mean, you see, it does work out. So, six, All right. So, you can see that um, this is correct, but now, why is this n squared? It's because we drop the constants. So, if we take this, rewrite it, Drop the two, drop the one, n times n equals n squared, which is what everyone says anyway. So this gives a little explanation as to why it's actually n squared. Um, that's about it, guys. Uh, enjoy your day. Um, like, share, comment. Let me know what you think. Let me see some videos you have, and have a great day. Thanks, guys.